If you love me, I got a word for the both of us. Put you in the driver's seat. Don't gotta hurry in the name of love. What's up, what's up, my LV besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy, and if you're new here, thank you so very much for joining my channel. And if you are not new here, thank you so very much for clicking back onto another video. I just want to first start off by saying I appreciate each and every one of you, and I cannot thank you enough for all the support that you have given me through the year of 2023, also the year of 2022, and the two months I started before that in 2021. You guys have been amazing and awesome, and you have helped me reach many goals throughout my YouTube journey and I cannot thank you guys enough because it is all because of each and every one of you that click on my video. So I appreciate you all and I hope there will be even more of you that come and join in 2024 because I have a lot to show that's coming up and a lot of things that I am going to change about my channel. Nothing major but just a few things that I'm going to do differently and so, yeah, y'all stick around and see what 2024 has to hold. But also, with that being said, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, I would so very much appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button and also hit the bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a video. So, I'm going to start this video off by showing you guys two bags that I do have for sale. And I'm going to update you guys on my pink vlog sale video, okay? So, first of all, I just want to say I had a reason for selling all of those pink bags. And today I'm going to do an unboxing right here. So, this will explain a lot. But first of all, I noticed I was not using all of my pink bags. Matter of fact, I was not using any of my pink bags, except that I did forget to mention that I did use my Gucci bag once. And so, I wanted to show you guys all of the bags that I had in pink. Now, this did not include bags that had pink on them. These were my solid pink, mostly solid pink bags. So, when you guys decided to buy what you bought, that was telling me what was left was what I was going to keep, okay? So, what was left was the pink Gucci bag, which is totally fine because I definitely love that bag and it's not even for sale anymore. I'm just going to keep it and use it. Second was the first Speedy from the By the Pool collection in the 2021. And I didn't ever put a price on that bag just because I was really iffy about selling it in general. That's the only two that was left. Every other bag sold. So, I do have one pink bag to show you guys that I did not show you guys in that video. And then I also have another pink bag that, I don't know, I'm, I'm just iffy about um, this one as well. But I just noticed over this past year, when I decided to start reaching for more bags and using more bags that I had, that my pink ones were not getting reached. So I decided if I only have a couple, then maybe I will want to use those and I don't have to sit and try to figure out which ones because I'm going to only have one or two. So I found a bag that I wanted really bad and it is a pink color bag. I'll tell you guys more about that bag when I unbox it. Bottom line was when I ordered that bag, it made me realize that I need to let some of these other ones go. And this is one that I wanted really, really bad. And I believe this is one that I will use. And I know I told you guys that there was a reason why I was selling one of my bags and why I was letting most of them go. And that's because of this is the ultimate bag that I have bought in the color pink yet. Like in my opinion, anyways, this is an ultimate bag for me. I mean, to me, this is the it pink bag. If there is a, such a thing as an it pink bag, this would be mine. Therefore, I do not need all of those other ones. And I'm just trying to be better at what I buy. So, I'm going to show you guys a couple of bags I have for sale that's left that we're going to end the 2023 year with for my sales. And then, I don't know about next year. There may be a bag I try to sell here and there, but I don't know. I'm, I have thought about going through my Never Fools because I do have so many of those also. So there may be some Never Fools up for sale soon. I just don't know which ones. I just know I have way too many of those. But now I'm going to stop talking over all of that so much and get on with the bags that I have for sale. And that way you guys can see what I am unboxing. And if you do not care to see these bags that I have for sale, y'all just skip right on through and go straight to my unboxing, okay? So this was a bag that I did not show. 
And this is the Pink Twist bag in the metallic rose gold. And if you guys can see it up close, it's a beautiful and stunning bag. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this bag. It still has the protective covers on the V hardware right there. I never used this bag one time and that's why I'm here with it right now because I never used it. So you open it up and it has the same color on the inside. It's got like a sparkle to it, so it's really, really pretty. And it has a mirror that comes in one of the pockets in there. It has a back pocket and then just one big compartment here and a zipper pocket right there. Okay, this bag is made of epi leather. This bag was also a collection piece that they did not make a whole lot of bags from. And what I do like about it is it has a rose gold chain. And I think that is absolutely gorgeous. So when I saw this bag, of course, I just had a fit for it. I, I loved it. But I paid five grand for this bag. Why I have not carried this bag, I don't know. I don't know. It's not the color. It's not the shape. It's not even that heavy. I just have not carried it. So I've spent five grand by the time I pay tax on this bag. So there is no point in this bag sitting on my shelf for me to look at. When it could make someone a heck of a bag because if you are a twist lover this bag is for you i just don't think i am i think it's just the whole twist thing in general i have had one other twist bag in the past and it was the pm size i didn't like it i returned it this is actually the mm size so as you can see i'll show you guys because i didn't show you earlier there's nothing wrong with it at all there's no corner wear or anything i know i mentioned that earlier but i didn't show you guys but anyways this is the mm size it does hold a ton i do have a video where i unbox this bag and i can link it in my description box below but i'm going to sell this for a really good price just to move it because it's going to continue to sit but one of the things i learned in 2023 is the Capucine bags and the Twist bags really just aren't my style. And yes, I know I do still have a Capucine up there, but all in all, they're just not bags for me. That's it. There are so many people that love the Twist bags. I'm just not one that cares for this type of bag. So this bag does make a good short shoulder bag, also a good long shoulder bag, and also a good crossbody. So if you're interested in this bag, the price will be linked in my description box below and you can contact me with the info that I leave below as well. Okay, enough on this beauty right here. One more time, the Twist MM in the rose gold metallic pink. And if it doesn't give off a good color, when I hold it up close, it, here it is back here, which usually tends to show more of what the color is. Okay, we're gonna set that over to the side now. So the next bag that I have for sale is the Petite Palais. And I have not shown this bag yet, and it's not pink, but I wanted to go ahead and show it on, on here because if I'm showing one that I have for sale, I might as well show another one. But I bought this bag without realizing that I have two bags, and I'm telling you guys, two bags that I've bought recently, and I will show you those bags soon, that are almost identical to the same type of bag as this one. So I set and I tried to figure out which one should I sell. It was a very hard decision, and I'll show you those two guys when I reveal those bags because I've had them for just a little while. I just haven't show, showed them on here. And I show you guys why you will understand why one needed to go, and probably even two because they're that much alike. But this bag is in brand new condition. As you can tell, the Vachetta is so light, like there's no patina at all. And maybe if I hold it back, you guys can see, but that's because I haven't had it very long, yet it's too late to return. So it is absolutely brand new. There's no corner wear on any side. Of course, if it hasn't been used, it wouldn't be any. There's the bottom, there's all sides, and I can send any additional pictures to you guys. But the one good thing about this bag is the outside pockets. So you have one outside pocket right here, and then you have another outside pocket right there. I was trying to do it with two hands, but it wasn't working too well. So that is a good thing because 
you can just slide your phone, and I have a 13 Pro Max, which is the largest size that they make, right down in either pocket, and you don't have to worry about getting into the main bag to get your phone out, or card holder, or sanitizer, or whatever it is, keys, whatever it is that you guys want to reach for without getting into your bag and having to hunt them down. This does come with a crossbody strap, and I will show you guys that because it is on the inside, and I want to show you guys the inside anyways. So here is the crossbody strap. As you can see, extremely light. Like, there's no patina whatsoever. Like, it's super, super brand new. Okay. And then here is the inside of the bag. It has two slip pockets over here and one big pocket over here. And yes, I do have this on the wrong side. This is supposed to be on this side of the bag because this tag means that's the back of the bag and that's where I have the bag tag with the lock on it so i need to change that around but anyways I, sometimes i just don't even look you guys i just like stick things on there and <laughs> i've done it so many times but anyways this does have a lot of space on the inside and it opens up to a really good size bag the petite palais to me is a really nice size bag and it's an everyday bag i just have so many everyday bags i have two that are almost just like this with the solid vachetta on the front and back. So this bag is for sale and I'm going to sell this bag for an amazing price as well. This bag sells for, I wanna say $27.80 brand new and I'm going to sell this bag for $2,200 and you will get a brand new bag for that. I'll go ahead and tell you guys, this bag I'm going to sell for $3,500, and I paid $5,000. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I am losing money on these bags, but to me, I'd rather lose a little bit of money than lose a lot of money by them just sitting there. Some people may not see it that way, but that's the way I see it. That's just it. That's just the way it goes, okay? So, the P Petite Palais in the solid monogram print okay the other pink bag that i have is this one and i bought this from love mal vle and it's a piece off of the multi pochette from the uh, ski collection when they sold this bag it did come with a black bag that was the same type of bag but larger but i bought this like i said pre-loved so i was able to just buy the bag itself my plans were to hook my monogram strap to this bag because of the monogram bag right there i thought that would be super cute and i didn't really care to have the bigger one because this one is big enough so the black one was really large and i know because i've tried those on at the boutiques before so you can't go into the boutique and just buy one piece so you can pre-love sometimes and so i was able to get just this bag and attach my own strap to it so this is the other bag that i have um I mean, if someone desperately wanted it, I would sell it, but as of right now, it's a keeper. So, because like I said, I am down to just a couple of pink bags, but, but the year has not ended and I am about to show you the best pink bag ever. So, let's get on with this boxing because I cannot wait to show you guys. I am that excited. I am that ecstatic over it and I will tell you where I seen it because I did not see this at the boutique and I have been dreaming of this bag for months now, okay? And I just wanna say, if you guys are out for New Year's, I wish you a safe night tonight. This video may be up on the first, I'm not sure, but I'm making it on New Year's Eve. I'm going to try to have it edited and up on New Year's Eve to end my year with an unboxing. Okay, so take this out of here. Set this plastic over here. Obviously I've done Looked at this bag, there was no way possible I could not look at this bag. No way when this bag came in. So here is the beautiful dust bag. And here it is, you guys. It is the Kusin bag in the color Rose Bon Bon. I'm going to do a 360 real quick like. So here's the front, the side, the back, the other side, and at the bottom of the bag. The hardware is beautiful gold. I love that they did put gold hardware on this bag because some have silver, some have gold. 
and I will show you why I'm saying that when I pull the chain out. So, of course, it just has a top zipper on the top of the bag. It, this is the one of the new ones, so it doesn't have that. I call tongue sticking out of it. <laughs> So when I told you guys I was selling my Kusin and people were like, really white? Well, this is white because I found a better pink. So that's why I sold that bag. I, I do not need a three shades lighter Kusin and this bag because anytime I go to carry a Kusin bag, it's going to be this bag. Anytime that I carry a pink bag, you guys, it's going to be this one. I will be surprised if I ever reach for any other pink bag. Like, but like I said, all I have left is my little pink Gucci bag and that little one back there and this twist unless it sells. So that's what I'm down to you guys. But that's because this one is, is everything to me. So I want to get my use out of this bag as much as possible. And in order to do that, I needed to let all the other bags go. And then I can be so excited when I just have this one or two nice pink bags to carry. Okay, I've talked enough on that. You guys don't know care anymore, I'm sure. Okay, so the inside has a brown leather. It's kind of, this <laughs> pocket is kind of crooked because I have the chain down in it. But anyways, so there's one side of the case and bag and there's the other side of it. And then it has a zipper pocket in the middle, right there, which opens up really well. So here is the strap to it which was in the bag, by the way. And then here is the chain. So when I said I was glad that they did gold hardware, this is why. Because this chain, I'll hook it on and put it up close, is both silver and gold. This is a beautiful, beautiful chain. I love the mixture of the hardware. The gold and silver together to me is super stunning. So let me zip this bag up and I will put this up here for you guys to see. So as you can see, one link was, is silver and one link is gold and they just alternate like that. Okay, but okay, here's another thing. You guys already know, I am not, let me skip over. Okay, you guys already know I do not care for the guitar straps, but this one, this one takes the cake. This is the ultimate, most beautiful guitar strap I've ever seen. It's got pink leather on the ends of it around where it adjusts. And then it's not an in your face strap. I mean, it is tan, which I guess I have complained about the color tan, but I just will have to be careful because it's 100% worth it to carry this bag. And I don't have anything else that would match this bag anyway. So this is going to have to work, but I do love the pink leather that they added onto it is so so cute like when it's all put together it makes all the sense in the world as to why they've added this strap of course myself i would have loved to have had a leather strap with this bag but that's okay at least they put some pink leather on it so i'm happy the fact that i am so happy to even have this bag tells me to just get over this whole guitar strap thing because this is my it pink bag so in order to get it i had to accept the fact that it's coming with a guitar strap and it's so worth it okay but it does all pull together and it is so so gorgeous so whenever you have this strap held up like this as in when you're wearing it the chain just droops right in front of the bag so it's not hanging down below like i was showing you guys just a minute ago but i'm going to show you guys what this beauty looks like on me and dummy me didn't even think about it whenever i was getting dressed and put on a pink shirt i didn't even think about that because i should have put on something neutral or whatever but I, i'm already here and i just noticed it when i was videoing that I'm going to be going pink against pink, which I probably would never do, okay? All right, I will be right back. Here it is crossbody, and I will step up closer so you guys can see how far the chain droops down and then how the strap is just so beautiful up against this bag. Oh my gosh, like... I'm in like pink bag heaven with just my one bag, okay? Okay, so here the bag is as a long shoulder bag so beautiful for sure and then also you could carry it in the crook of your arm with just a chain leave the strap off and that would be a really pretty look as well 
you guys, hold on. I need to change the chain and the strap around with the way they're hooked up. Okay, I had the chain hooked behind the strap, which was causing it to be weird when I had it on. So anyways, this was the bag that made me decide to get rid of the mass majority, if not almost all of my pink bags, because she is going to be the one that I carry every time I go to reach for a pink bag. And I'm so happy because I call this my it pink bag because this is the ultimate, the ultimate pink bag. As I have stated many times, this is so Barbie pink to me. And let me tell you guys where I seen this bag first shown. And that was from another YouTuber and her name is Haley and her channel is Haley's Room. And I will link her channel below because she bought this bag and I watched her video and she definitely 100% influenced me to go buy this bag and I had thought about it and thought about it for so long and I finally did it. So I'm so happy. So thanks Haley for showing this bag because now I have my favorite pink bag in the whole world and you guys will never see this bag for sale because yeah, this, this is like it. Like this is this is it and this is probably all the pink bags I will probably ever buy and if I do decide to buy another one it might be contemporary or something just because I don't trust myself <laughs> to buy another two or three four thousand dollar bag and carry it so this is it you guys if you all guys hear fireworks I'm sorry there is people popping fireworks out there so my pink cousin in the color rose bonbon super super excited to add this as part of my collection so once again if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so i would appreciate it oh so very much and go ahead and give me a good old thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below and i hope you guys have an amazing new year's eve an amazing year 2024 coming up i wish you all the best and most importantly i hope you guys have the healthiest 2024. So I am going to say goodbye and leave you until next year with I hope you all have a great morning, day, evening or night, whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a good evening. And I will see you guys back in a couple of days with another video. Bye.